back to Lausanne. Thank you. Um, so first, tell me, how do you remember your time in Lausanne? Uh, the week of the competition. I've only got good memories of it, fantastic memories of it. Um, I was here with uh, a friend, Olivia Bell, who was another Australian dancer, and uh, I remember, I already remember falling in love with the city, and I remember having amazing experiences with teachers and training, and meeting wonderful people. Yeah. And in your opinion, anything has changed in the competition? Look, I'm sure little things have changed in the competition, but on the whole, I don't think so. Like, I see, I see the people mixing the way we mixed. I see them arriving the way we arrived. I see, I see the passions the same, pretty much the same. I think so. Mm. So we have images from our archives mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> of you at the time. Uh, would you want to watch it? Sure, okay. So do you have any comments on your classical variation? It's really interesting to watch because watching where techniques come since 1994 and sort of understanding when I was 16 years old, having watched the 16 year olds yesterday here, there are slight changes. I think there are... Um, I do see slightly more, maybe more solid technique and more tone in people's bodies. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, it's interesting. Um, and then it's interesting me reflecting on that and then seeing the way I danced later in my career and thinking, well, there's a lot that didn't change. <laughs> I still see myself very much in that, yeah. And um, do you want to see your free variation now? Not particularly, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I take that as a yes. <laughs> oh dear.
Okay. <laughs> what are your impressions? <laughs> that I have way too much eye makeup on. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I think that um, in those days having the free variation was very nice. Like, you know, whatever the choreography was that you did, it was, um, it certainly, uh, uh, it was certainly diverse and interesting from everybody. And I remember my year, and my year I had uh, Goyo Montero, whose solos are, we're seeing today. And I remember his free variation, which he choreographed himself, which was amazing. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I still think, even though like I can be critical of that, it's it's kind of fun and yeah, I like it. It's cute. <laughs> and if you could go back in time, um, what advice would you give yourself for the week or for the career? <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh huh. For the week. Look, actually, I think I survived that week very, very well. Um, I could have been nicer to my mother, probably, but she hasn't blamed me for it. Um, no, I, I think I survived the week really, really well. I just enjoyed it, I think. I really, I, I ate everything up. Yeah. Um, then what followed is another story. <laughs> so for the career? <laughs> for the career... Mm. I think what's quite interesting is that you know you get always get caught up in your own little mini dramas all through your career and it's quite interesting looking back at this and just thinking there was something very simple and very honest um, about that there was something truthful about this this little person here doing these things um, that probably was always there during the career but you know you do you get caught up in other little mini dramas in your life. So it would have been nice maybe to just refresh um, the simplicity of what this was throughout my career. Mm.